Welcome back, everyone. It is episode two on Corby. Corby. Um, okay, so it rained all morning. Uh, almost nonstop. It just stopped raining now. And it's time to get to work. So uh, a couple of things I want to do first, I guess. Um, I want to clear out at least these two trees because they're very close to the house. I want to make some room. I think probably we will take this tree down as well. And then I want to work our way towards our, our bridge, which is over here. So there's not a lot of work to get there, but um, you know, maybe this guy will come down. And maybe this one. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll slowly work towards it. But the idea is to take down some of these trees, clear up the area a little bit, and you know, bottom line, make some room. Make some room for us. Uh, got a few plans and uh, had a lot of time to think about it this morning and I think I know which direction we want to go in. So um, I guess let's get started. Uh, first things first and uh, you know, I mentioned it in the first episode, I will not be using um, super strength to deal with wood. As a matter of fact, I will not be dealing with any kind of super strength because I removed that mod, I removed the lumberjack mod, I removed course play, and uh, a couple of others. But we're going to try to do this as, as um, naturally as possible. This I know how to use, though, so let's get started with that. We're going to take this tree down. And... Oh, fortunately that tree is not that heavy, so I can move it. Well, the ones that I can move, I will. And this one I can, so uh, what we'll do is I guess we'll make a little spot over here to put them all. Everything's trimmed up nice. That might be too long, so I probably need to split that. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Okay. And let's get this big guy down, because this one's kind of in the way. Oh, I'm so used to destroying these. Can't do the stumps. <laughs> That's all right. That's not working so well. I should probably clear up the ground a bit so I can see what I'm doing. Let's chop that off. There we go. Yeah. Let's cut this here, and maybe halfway here. Okay, I cannot pick up any of this. No, not that one. Nope, can't pick up any of these. Okay, it's all good. And another one we wanted to take care of. I think we'll leave that one, it's kind of nice. This guy here, I want to get rid of. And I cannot move this one, it's too big. I'll have to get, I don't know why it didn't fall. Um, I'll have to get the tractor to deal with that. So, let's get in here. Um, are we attached? Yes, we are. We don't... Actually, let's get it out of the way for now. Put it somewhere where we can load it. We're going to try two techniques, basically. We're going to try uh, both loading with the, uh, with the trailer itself. Ooh, kind of tight in here.
I think I'm going to put that here. Oops, I disconnected the wrong thing. Um, I assume I need... I'm going to need keys for this. Okay, I think I need to get into this, don't I? Yeah, this is how bad I am with this. So I need to put out the legs. No. Oh, uh, this is going to be horrible. Okay. Why don't we change our view here? That's side to side. This is that joint. This is up and down. And this is turn. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to get the outriggers out. Um, I assume I have to be... Yeah, the hydraulics are what run this thing, so I need to be connected. Alright, uh, so we're going to do that in a minute. Let's um, disconnect that for now. Yeah, I need I need more yard space here. I don't, I've barely got room to turn around. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stuck. Can I go through this way? Okay. All right. We're good. Okay, so I guess we'll go around the back here. Yeah, this is going to be a little messy for a bit until I can get this sorted out. Let's knock that over. There we go. Down you go. Okay, let's get this limbed up. Right onto another tree, right? Okay. So we've got some trees down. And now I'm just going to cut this into three, I think. And I think there's something to fix there. Will I be able to pick that one up? Yes, I will. Okay. I'm going to get rid of some of this brush. It's very difficult to see what I'm doing. So I had a dream. Well, I won't call it a dream, I guess. I think I would call it a kind of a, oh, I gotta be careful here. There we go. Sorry, I can't, apparently I can't chew gum and, and walk at the same time. So, um, yeah, ever since I was a kid, I kind of wanted to have a job doing stuff with my hands, and oh boy, probably need a weight on the back of this. There we go. Oops. Um, yeah, I wanted to make things with my hands. I guess I wanted to, uh, I kind of wanted to be a carpenter, and. I've worked in a factory, I've worked, you know, on assembly lines, you know, where it's it's kind of, you know, work that you can do. Um, but it's not the same. I want to be a craftsman. That's a very different thing. So, I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's going to be my new career, is I will be making... Um, Things like furniture. Uh, how comes that's not opening? There we go. 
it is really tough in here. We're going to have to get in here and um, figure out a way to clear this up. I can't see anything. So now that we've got that cleared up on that side, I'm going to see if I can grab it and move it over by the... Move it over by the uh, trailer over there. There we go. I can't see anything. Nope. Is there another camera view for that? No, there isn't. Come on. There we go. I think I got it. Sorry for the camera angles, but I'm trying to move cameras and this thing at the same time. Hang on. Let's see. Let's see if we can... Ah, uh, I gotta be attached to it. Well, that's a problem. I wonder... I doubt it, but... <laughs> Let's see if that works. I highly doubt that that's, this is going to work. Um, okay. Alright. Well, this probably shouldn't work, but it does. I'm going to come over here with the crane for now. And I'll try to figure out, learn one thing at a time, I guess. Guys. Guys, I did it. I put one log. I think if I had a shorter reach, this is kind of a long reach for these tight spaces, but if I had a skid steer or something, <laughs> that would work a lot better. Visibility is a is a thing. There we go. Oh boy, I didn't get that very well, did I? Better get this in here quickly. Oh no. Oh no. Nice. So, yeah, this is going to be a little long at first. The goal, honestly, the goal here is for me to learn how to do this. And the ones that I can pick up with my hands, I definitely will. The ones that I can't... Well... I'll have to deal with those. First things first, let's figure out how to get one load in. Uh, is that it for the small ones? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay. I'm going to see if I can shove these around to help myself a little bit more. There we go. I gotta be a bit more of a wood bully. 
I think I'm trying to be too, too delicate. Oh boy. That one's pretty big. What she said. Yeah, it's a little too big, isn't it? Okay, bear with me here, guys, while I try to figure out these camera angles. There we go. I think I might have two of them here. That's not really the best technique. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Let's see if we can grab this guy without knocking everything else over. Oops, too far. My depth perception is terrible. Okay, I want to see how I've done here. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. I can probably put a bit more on there. Is it, do I have more down? No, I think I've put everything on there that I've taken down so far. So, um... Where are we going? We're going over here. So I think that can go down these smaller ones. I can't see anything. I know it's in there somewhere. Can I pick this one up? Yes, I can. Nice. Pretty long. <laughs> uh, okay, and then maybe this one. Whoops. Okay. Where am I? I'm lost. I'm turned around. There we go. <laughs> That's funny. It's like those videos of dogs carrying a stick trying to get through a, a gate or something and they can't get through and they keep trying and trying. Okay, what other small stuff can we take down? Our road looks pretty good. This guy here is a little bit in the way, so we're going to take that guy down. But I'm not going to have it go into the water. Come on down. Why aren't you going down? Ugh. Okay. Where am I? There I am. Stumps. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. Okay, we're gonna try to move. I can't move it because it's poking the door. Oh man, this is a... So until you get your yard sorted out. And this is not the best. Yeah. Okay. That's not gonna work. We need the track. Oh boy. We need the tractor over here. Let's just get this guy out of the way here. Uh, 
Okay, so first problem is this thing here. That's a bit too long. So took care of that. Okay, so we're gonna bring this one over. We're gonna load it up and I don't know why I'm so far into the bush now. Hang on a second. You guys are you guys laughing yet? Because you should be. There's a tree there. Okay. Let's see if we can back this up a little bit. Nice and tight. Can we turn? Yeah, it works a lot better. Hence the importance of a nice clean yard. I'm already getting better. Slowly though. That'll be enough for this trailer load. Well, we'll get the other. There's one more log over there. I'm going to um, move the trailer out into the open for the last log. I think for any... Until we can get some working room in here, I think the best bet would be to just haul the logs out um, probably strap that. Okay. Undo the straps, detach. Let's go get the one more log. We'll put it on there, strap it up, and go sell this. Oops. Maybe if I put my lights on, that would be smart. There we go. All right. Yeah, the lights sure would help. I don't know what time it is. Mid-afternoon sometime, I think. Whoops. Now, ideally, I learned how to use that screen. There we go. Oh, looks a little heavy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Straps on. And I think that thing up top is going to be okay for now. I'm almost tempted to sell the... Uh, I know I haven't given it much of a chance, but I'm thinking of selling the crane already. Just getting a normal log trailer. We'll see. Oh boy. Yeah. Hopefully we don't jackknife. So how are you guys doing today? It is an absolutely beautiful day. Ooh, it's almost four o'clock already. I'm trying to remember where I have to go again. There it is. I'm skating. Whoa. Okay, so we're going to go to the sawmill down here. We're going to sell this. It is just too heavy for this trailer. I, should, I need to put less on next time. Whoa, 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 whoa.
This combo is not great. I'm gonna go really slow. Good news is the sawmill is right there. Okay, let's see what we can get for this. All that for 5,000. Hmm. Hmm. Hey guys, I'm doing it. I'm doing it already. I know, I didn't really give it a fair shake, but... It'll be painful for you guys. To watch me do this. So, I am... I think I can just put it there and sell it. I'm just gonna get a normal trailer. Normal, uh, wood trailer. And I'll lose some money already. Okay. Let's buy something else. Uh, we will go into something very simple. Maybe this guy or this guy. I kind of like this guy. I've used this guy before. And let's make it fancy. Purple? No, let's do blue. Blue is a good, good finish color. I don't know if that's the exact tone, but it's 200 bucks for blue though. And oop, <laughs> kind of looks like I'm spending the money anyway. All right, let's just do it. Let's just do it. 4,000. There we go. You know, one of the things I've learned in life, and this is kind of good across the board, is if you make a mistake, um, there is absolutely nothing wrong with changing your mind, changing your decision, and fixing it immediately, and not suffering with that mistake for any more than you have to. So, I bought that trailer, I had big ambitions, and I've come to realize that that is not necessarily going to work. Um, so here we go. Fix. Problem fixed. I'll be picking up the logs with this. I think eventually we, given the uh, how tight things are, I think we're maybe going to try to get ourselves a small, smaller vehicle to pick up logs. Um, maybe a skid steer or something like that. Uh, we'll see. Now the other thing we could do, if we can clear up enough room, we can put in our own sawmill. That might be an interesting to do. Interesting thing to do. Uh, we're out here. Just keep an eye out for those big bumps. Okay, here's our bridge. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna leave this out here and we'll drag all the logs and load them up. From there, that'll give us more room to maneuver and it won't be as challenging. It'll be a little further to go to bring our logs, but. Okay, so, and let me back up here. Just want to get out of the way for a second. We're going to put in a dirt road. Getting dark. Getting more and more difficult to do this. We might have to wait. Oops, going the wrong way. I wonder it was dark. So we're going to put in dirt. Where's... Oh. Is that it? Interesting. Forest ground, that'd be good. We had a road, I can't see. I can't see very well. So I think we're gonna have to wait for the morning to do this. Yeah, 
Yeah, it'd be better if we wait. Okay. So we got a few things done. Um, I am going to rest. And my headlights. Okay. So we're going to rest and um, get back at this in the morning. It's October now and the days are getting short. Uh, daylight is a problem. I'm leaving that out there. I assume it's fine out there. But we're going to make a nice road in here. We'll get it a nice dirt road right to our cottage. We got to get these out of here. So I need some kind of stump grinder. And then I'm going to look in to see about possibly getting ourselves a, a sawmill. A small one, you know, just big enough for us. You know. Let's have a rest. It is 9 a.m. on November in November. And I am starting to think that uh, the days are really short here. Um, Corpy has, I guess, must be very north. <laughs> um, yeah, so our, our uh, I'm going to slow down our clock a bit. I was running at five, uh, five times speed. I'll run it, put it at two for now. And we're going to wait out a little bit more. I can't see anything, so we can't work. I mean, I can flashlight everything, but, you know, that kind of sucks. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is the challenge here. This is the challenge for sure. It's 10 a.m. and the sun's not even up yet. Oh boy, we're in for a treat. We're in for a super treat. Okay, so I think what we're going to do, we're going to need all the lights. I think we're going to leave this here, leave the front loader here. We're going to head to town and try to find some kind of uh, stump grinder, get rid of these stumps, and then we're going to clean up the yard a bit. And um, yeah, and inquire about sawmills. We do have space out here to put up a sawmill. Uh, I kind of don't want to put it in that direction because it'll kind of, you know, ruin the, uh, the nature view from the house. But we'll see. All right, we're at the store. So we need a stump grinder. And we're going to talk about possibly getting ourselves a sawmill set up. We got flying deer here too. Everywhere. This must be Santa's reindeer. Maybe. Okay, so we have this as an option. Uh it's a little pricey, twenty-seven thousand. Quite pricey as a matter of fact. Let's have a look, see what else there is. Uh we could do something like this. Problem is, um, needs 200 horsepower and it's 42,000. So yeah, that's not going to work. I think we're going to go back to the other plan. All right, let's buy it. We're going to need it. We're going to need it a lot. Uh, there's no point leasing this. It is almost noon and I'm kind of, well, it's 11, 11 AM. Um, and it's still, I still don't see a full sun up. So, I kind of feel almost like when we get to January, there will be no day. So that's perhaps the challenge of this of this map is um, there'll be rest periods. Okay, let's return this and uh, start cleaning up the yard. All right, here we are. If we can clean these up real quick. Why isn't that grinding? 
Uh, is this going to be one of those maps? There we go. I guess we got to play with it a bit. Maybe if I do that on the front. Can I do that on the front? I think I can. It'll be easier. Okay. We've got things under control a bit. Yeah, there's one there. Okay, I got rid of it. It didn't give me a lot of feedback on the progress. It just disappeared. Okay. And we have one or two in the back here. So we did get the stumps done. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to clear this out a little bit. I kind of want to mow it, but I'm not sure if a mower is gonna get all this. I don't know. Maybe we can find a bush hog of some kind. I can always use the paint tool, but yeah. All right, guys, this is gonna, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm, I'm starting to realize that um, this might be a really challenging series uh, with the daylight. It is not getting any lighter, and uh, I feel like we're going to have super long summer days and absolutely non-existent <laughs> sunlight. <laughs> Uh, during the, the peak winter, the January and December. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Exciting map. This this is a cool map. Um, I'm really pumped about it. All right. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode. And uh, don't forget. I hope you have a great day.